Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Dion here at the Turquoise Cyrus on day 88 of my 90 day Facebook Live Challenge. I um, hope you're having an awesome Saturday. It's freezing here in Oklahoma City, but the sun's out and the wind's not blowing, so it's totally bearable. Um, well, I, I say that as long as I'm near a south facing window with it coming directly in on me. I'm in my house shoes. Um, I can handle it at that point, but I'm grateful I don't have to be out in it today. Hi, Amber. So welcome everybody. Last night during Friday Night Live, um, I started this washstand right here, which I'm going to show you guys, and then I'm going to work on the top of it today. Um, hi, Miss Anissa. Um, so I'm going to work on the top of that today, but last night we were doing some ombre, and we were doing like horizontal ombre where I did crinoline and my medium color, and then I ended with my uh, bohemian blue. I'm not sure I like it. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not quite sure that I like this guy. Yeah. Because I came out here this morning and thought, you're kind of boring, honey. Oh, look at you, Lexi. I'm, it's kind of boring. But anyway, I need to get the top finished so I can at least look at it. Um, it's very possible there's going to be some more colors added to it because, like I said, I looked at it and I'm a little bored with it, guys. Mm, I'm a little bored. Um, let me show you. So, sure, I'd love your input. But I think it's because... Thank you, Malia. It came in a gift this morning. I got a gift from a friend in the mail and I put it on immediately and it's very warm, so thanks. Um, so I have crinoline and skeleton key and bohemian blue and it's in a horizontal ombre, which I had not done that in a couple of years and I'm just a little bored by it. It's so lame, like I can't seem to just do something simple without being bored by it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the top with you guys because I never end up painting the top of pieces. But this piece I thought, well, it's short enough. I can go ahead and do the top. Then we can stand back. But I also have my putty knife just in case. I grab my copper just in case. And frankly, we don't need to jazz it up, really. So I haven't, um, I haven't quite figured out how I want to jazz it up yet. So maybe it'll come to me. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and get started with you guys. I also, I received a message this morning. Um, someone was asking about my creative connection because I've been telling you guys for a month that we go live on January 1st and 2nd. Um, there can never be too much Bohemian Blue, right? So do I just paint the whole thing? Bohemian Blue? I don't know. Um, but the lady asked me this morning, she said, and if you're on here, sweetheart, um, no, I, I don't know if you're on here. You may be just a YouTuber. I can't remember. But anyway, um, she asked me about my creative connection and she said, I work full time. So what do I do if I work full time and I, I miss your trainings? So for those of you that are not familiar with what it's like to be in a membership group, um, the way I do mine, it's on Facebook and it's in a private group. So for, I put you in a private group together. Um, and so when I do a live at any point in the day, it's just like these. It's just like these. You can totally go back and watch it at any point. Um, and I started my group in 2017 in September. So now that we're working on our 16th month, going on our 17th month of being in a membership group, um, not one training has ever been deleted. So if there's any kind of recording in the Creative Connection, even if you're coming in, you still get all 16 months of my trainings, of all the conversations. We don't delete anything in there. And so um, it's all moderator approved, so I have to approve the posts. Um, so if that answers her question, I thought, gosh, it might be someone else's um, question as well. So just so you know, most of the women have a day job. Most of the women that are in here working nine to five, 10 to six, whatever, um, even some evenings. So you just catch up on your own time. You just become part of the group on your own time. Um, so nothing has been deleted in there. There are 16 months of information in there um, previously. So um, the tutorials that I've given, all of my online classes are half off to my members. Um, so I'm hoping that answers your question. And I know I went ahead and messaged her back and typed her back her email, but I thought it might apply to some other people as well that um, you don't have to catch me at a certain time. You don't have to catch um, any of the trainings because everything is always there for the playback. So hope that helps. So I'm gonna actually pour this out into my tray. Um, 
and I want to get started. And guys, like I said, I'm just, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to jazz it because that's just the way I'm feeling. That's just the way I'm feeling. And then I really, really, we have OU football tonight, ladies and gentlemen. OU football, big game, big bowl game tonight. So I wanted to get this worked on. Um, and yeah, I only put this pretty shirt on because, and if I ruin it, I'd be so mad. Um, because it came in the mail this morning from a friend and um, I wanted to wear it. I got a thing. Golden ticket. So I have golden ticket out, but I also have my copper. You know, I'm obsessed with my copper that I have and until I've completed, okay, I don't need hair in it. Who put their hair in this thing? Was that you? Um, weirdo. I have it up. How is it even coming out? Who are you playing? Danae. We are playing, um, OU Sooners are playing, um, Alabama. Woo -woo! Go. It's, I mean, we're going to win. We're going to win. So, okay, let me chill this down. Y'all don't need to see me. I am seeing you guys comment and, and say hello. So thanks for being here. Okay. Can you see okay, guys? Thank you for all of you guys who have watched Little Miss Iris and me this morning. Um, I so appreciate you watching. We are already on to, to the third episode. Having the best time. We've got some crazy ideas that are coming up. And we're also kind of excited to see where this may go. Um, so, People are asking us to sponsor us and um, just there's just been lots of questions about different things and I'm just I'm so grateful and I appreciate you having your kids and grandkids and, and like you know and watching it yourself so right now I've got to work when this paint is wet I got to work when it's wet it's pretty warm and toasty in here right now so I gotta move pretty quickly. This color is crinoline. It's an off-white. It's almost a well. It's it's a creamy, creamy yellow. It's the number one color that I use when I'm painting my flowers, when I'm finger painting, because it um, it just has a soft, natural color. It's really pretty. Dion, I loved your show today. Thanks. Thank you, Josie. My girl, Josie, up in here. So appreciate you watching. Thank you. Um, one sweet mama sent me a picture of her daughter, and she filmed her because she heard her her daughter. I think her name was Drew. She was talking to a puppet. She went and got a stuffed animal, or and I'm not sure if it was an actual puppet. But while she was drawing with her left hand, she had her hand. On an animal and she was making the animal make noises and she was talking to it while she was painting or drawing oh my god it was the cutest thing I thought my heart was gonna explode so she had done that right after she had watched our video um, and her mama caught you know kind of filmed her and sent me the little video and, um, and Matt and I were both like oh my goodness that just that's all I need just that one viewer that one little heart that was touched by our okay that sun literally from the time we went live the sun has moved so hang tight ladies and gentlemen could be having that that is no thank you okay we've got to move fast we're gonna dry up here so I'm on day 88 are there any other questions about my group, by the way? Since I'm opening up on Tuesday, um, I just want to make sure I've answered all the questions. So that was the one that the um, lady emailed me this morning. Um, the other ones that I commonly get asked is, how much is it? That's $26 a month, that's all. A couple of movie tickets and some popcorn. Um, so I get asked that a lot. Um, people ask what the requirements are. There are none. There are no requirements. Anybody's welcome. Come and go as you please. Um, other than you have to be nice. I only accept nice people. So, where is that? Yep, day 88 of 90. I'm going to start on January 1st over on YouTube. 
and that's another challenge for myself. I, um, I expect a lot kind of from the people around me in general, but I also, I expect a lot of myself, and so I'm continuing to give myself challenges that push me and make me uncomfortable. So it's uncomfortable to go live 90 days, in case you are wondering, on here. It's, it's, a little, it's not like the funnest feeling. I enjoy it, but you have to push through. It's really once you get past the first 30 days, you're good. It becomes a habit, it's just like anything else. Um, but I continue as a business owner and as a person and as a mama just to push myself into uncomfortable positions. Um, uncomfortable, not positions, I like don't want to sit uncomfortably, that's weird. Um, uncomfortable situations where I'm doing things I've never done before and really, this is a dusty brush by the way. This is Paint Pixie Dusty Brush and if you're noticing there's a DW on it because I am not letting anybody steal my brushes, so yep, I put my um, my initials on them. It's good stuff. Um, because if I take them, I take them anywhere with me. Um, the other thing is I think it's really um, the season that I'm in has been a period of growth for me. And I've watched other people around me try new things and experience new things. And so it's just like a, it's a never-ending circle of wonder because I'm growing, I'm pushing myself, I'm doing things I never imagined I would do and then that allows the person beside me, next to me, a part of me. Um, Holly Hallmark, this is an all natural uh, clay based paint. The reason I sell it and use it is for that very reason. Um, it's in, There's no VOCs and it's all clay. I would put it on my hands if I need to. There is nothing in this product that's toxic. Um, there's that lady with the message. Um, I have searched and searched and searched for years for a product that um, does not affect me, and it's very important to me to be um, to be as aware as possible with the elements that I'm breathing and putting in my body and are near my body. Um, so to answer your question, I don't worry about this pain at all. All right, so now we're pouring out the Bohemian Blue, and we've got to use it while it's wet. Can you guys see okay? I've got just this little section here. We're still wet right here, and all I'm doing is blending one color into the other while it's wet. I don't wanna to get too much, girlfriend. Woo, got too much. But again, I'm not positive that I like this. I'm a little bored with it. And we're gonna to need to sass it up. Last night I was thinking, okay, it's just because it's wet, but when I turned off the camera with Q, and we did our little goodnight talk, and how are you, and okay, I'll see you tomorrow, that type thing, um, I stared at it and thought, mm, I'm not feeling you yet, girl. And I walked in here today, and I'm still not feeling it, so we're gonna need a Jazzerat, but I haven't decided exactly what I wanna do. To be honest with you, there's a part of me that kind of wants to paint some flowers on the front of it because I'm thinking it might be a pretty little side table or nightstand for somebody. So there's a part of me that wants to throw a bunch of flowers on it. What do y'all think? Does anybody like that look or flowers? Or are you over flowers? Okay, so this top is looking much better than I feel like the front of it went yesterday. Maybe it's, maybe it's you guys are my good luck charm. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how that's blended so far right now. Oh yes, flowers, you say? Yeah, yeah. May all just being nice to me. If I get paint on me, God love me. God love me. Who says that? That's not what I meant to say. Facebook. Someone in charge of that. Get rid of that comment. Uh, that's how I felt about the big dresser I just did. I just kept layering her until I finally said, I can't see the rest. You think a beach scene. That'd be a good idea too, Inga. Okay, so let me go. Um, we gotta leave this alone for this moment. <clears throat> we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta shift. Oh, hi. We gotta shift.
Scoot out of the way, Dion. All right, you see what I mean? Like, she's good. I like her. But I feel like I can do better. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so if you're interested in the uh, membership group, I forget things that I was going to say. So you can go to thetruckwithcyrus.com. You can actually go to membership and get on the waiting list. And I'll send out an email on Tuesday. That will be a reminder. You can set your phone alarm right now. You'll have two days to join. And I'm going to lower this. Let's... So do you think flowers, really guys, or are you just being nice? You just want to like see me mess this piece up. Are y'all tricking me? Huh? I think I need to work on this a little bit more to be honest with you before I do anything else. <clears throat> I think I need to. Normally I don't do this much like moving around, so I apologize guys. Um, but since I'm doing more than one thing, I feel like I kind of have to, have to, have to. So, I just don't know, and there's a big glare from the sun right here, and I'll apologize for that. Um, no flowers, <coughs> you think some transfers. <clears throat> Thank you, Holly. You're going to be the one person that says no flowers. Sorry being honest with the gold bronze. No worries. Beach scenes are hot right now. It will fly off your webpage. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of beach scenes. That's, that's true. I do a lot of beach paintings. All right. So I'm going to work on this and just smooth this all. Just This was just the first layer. I'm going to work on this just a little bit, and then maybe it will come to me. I hope the paint gods will give me an idea. I do have, um, I have lots of transfers. I have lots of stamps. Um, again, that, that doesn't, I'm, that doesn't feel just right for some reason. That's not, that's not feeling that great for me for right now. I don't know why, but Gosh, I never move around this much. I really apologize. It's like a hot mess today. You know how you just, some pieces you get really excited about and others you don't. So I was really excited to start this last night. But I'm not going to lie, I'm just going through a phase where I'm like, what's up, girl? Agree Coastal would be perfect. I'm like, what's up, girl? This piece, come on. Shift it. Hi from Andy's mom. Hi, Carolyn. Hello, dear. Okay, here we go. I love this brush. All right, so I'm going to come back in. I'm going to um, actually spray a little bit and reactivate my paint from last night. Because right now I'm just looking at this one. Blah, 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 blah. what I'm thinking. Is it okay to think that about your own work, isn't it? I don't think it about someone else's, but it's just not, I'm not like, yes, I want to feel that. You guys know how I've been with Bohemian Blue and the copper paint finish that I created. I am, that's a, that's a really big thing. Are there some of you out there that care about OU football and thinking OU is going to lose? Are there, are there any of you want to want to challenge me today? I'm just kidding. I can't even hardly challenge you. I could probably hardly even talk about it that much. 
it's just one of those things that the people in my house are looking forward to. The boys are excited. Two of them at least. The other one doesn't really care. The younger one doesn't really care, but it's like so weird the way they wait for ball games because you have to wait a whole month to get to play, so we haven't played in a while. Okay. Okay, so I know that looks well, that looks good. I like I okay, I like it in there. Big 12 girl, but I think it's real tight tonight. No, Marina! Oh, traitor. Though I don't want them to. I'm afraid grandma. No. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I don't want to talk to you guys. Never mind. Never mind. I don't want to talk to y'all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My my six-year-old nephew said it the other night at on Christmas. I said, Henry, who's going to win? And he's a big OU fan. He was like, well, Alabama's better than us. You know, he's talking like an old man. Alabama's better than us, so I'm sure they're going to win. Oh, he's going to lose. It's like, oh, gosh. Okay, I just grabbed the skeleton key. And if you're not sure what color this really is, it's a true greenish gray skeleton key, okay? All this is DIY paint all natural clay based paint no VOCs you don't smell anything when you're using it or let me just rephrase that you may smell something but it's not the paint <laughs> you may smell something but it's not the paint hi is that a new one yeah no, this is the um well this is the paint pixie brush this is actually an all natural one um the synthetics have come out um, you can get the, the, I think you can get this brush in a synthetic on Debbie's Design Diary, on DIY Paint. Yeah. Alright, this handle makes it a little awkward. I think that's part of my problem. I couldn't get the handle off. So, all of you traders talking football here with me. That's cool. That's cool. You can't help if you don't know. It's funny. I'm just kidding. Oh, you watch party. Who is that? Melissa. There we go. Fellow Oki. Okay. What? I'm going this way. Now I'm coming in with the Bohemian Blue. And as soon as I finish this up, I'm going to need to decide what I'm going to add next. I love that the piece is solid wood and that it has these little encasings, um, little insets. Okay, you want to put the lines all the way down maybe? Or close that? That would help, babe. Thank you. I can probably even turn on, maybe turn on the overhead light. Maybe that would help now. My lighting assistant is here to help us, guys. He checked and said there's a glare here, so he's trying to help us out. Thank you, babe. And just turn on the overhead light, too. I think that helps. That's perfect, Matt. Thank you. All right. So it's not that I don't like it. I'm just bored with it a little bit, okay? What would happen if you glazed instead of water? I don't know. If 
would rather watch El Pain than Papa. <laughs> Dion, though, I live in Oklahoma. You're right. You're from Louisiana. I forget. Yep. I am looking to see if I missed any comments. Um, looks like y'all answered for me. I'm spraying water. Okay. Thank you guys for answering me. What did you just spray on? Joanne, yeah, I sprayed just water. Um, the DIY paint can get kind of thick and what um, I use almost on every single furniture makeover, I like to either spray the brush or spray it onto the piece and it just really encourages the paints to blend together and I blend sometimes eight different colors on a piece of furniture, so it's really important to me to keep it wet also because it is a clay-based. Um, the moisture evaporates really quickly, and that's what gives the, um, the DIY paint a really solid durability finish because the water evaporates quickly and then the clay base molds and uh, hardens really quick. So, hope that helps. You got a helper today, all that sweet. Now, he was watching so he could come out here and <laughs> Where do you get that water bottle? Um, so Martina, you can get them in a lot of different places. Um, this particular one was a gift, so I don't have an answer for you on that. Um, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, you can get them at hair supply places. Um, okay, all right, so let's jazz it. We gotta, we gotta jazz, guys. Yeah, jazz the set. It's a little boring for me. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't deal with it being. So I'm grabbed. Grabbed my marquee and a golden ticket. You have gotten me spraying water now when I never used to. Then the colors blend better too. Yep. This is me when I get the lid stuck, which is every single day, every single time. Um, Golden Ticket is also a product that's a liquid patina, kind of a glaze. Um, that's what it is, it's a glaze. And so I grab my putty knife, and it's really beneficial on pieces like this that have lots of edges, um, lots of trim, and lots of detail that um, you can add a, a, a patina like this, some sort of accent. And so I'm literally just going to rub this on, and now you're going to look at it, and you're going to go, that is hideous, girl, you're crazy. Why are you doing that? That's okay. It's not going to look like this in just a second. This is a true copper color. I'm not sure how it comes across on camera. It almost looks like a burnt orange, but that's not the color that it is in person. Just FYI. Um, so... The idea is that you use your water and just lightly spritz it. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for just a second because I'm letting it absorb the water and then I'm gonna encourage it to start dripping. Um, the reason I'm going with the copper is because this copper is a great contrast yet complement to Bohemian Blue. You have your orangey rust colors with your teals and your turquoise, and that is always a compliment. They always look good together. Kind of thinking turquoise and coral from the ocean. So now that it has set for a second, I'm just gonna encourage it to drip a little bit more. And when it's dry, you'll, more, you'll see more shimmer than you will color. You can do this with any gold or metallic paint. Um, you know, if you need it to drip, you just make it a little bit, water it down a little bit. It doesn't, doesn't have to be the products that I'm using. Just use what you have. You know, if you have a metallic hanging out in your cabinet that's been there for months. Water it down, shake it up, add a different color to it and see what color of patina you can actually get.
this piece is solid oak, so it's going to it's going to really take to the paint. I'm going to be able to get a really distressed finish on it. Yes, you're seeing that I'm really mostly getting rid of all of the copper. I'm only leaving a little bit of it on there, but that's really the only way to get it on there and make it look natural. So yes, most of it's going to end up on the floor at the bottom. Let me see what the gold is. This you can see that it's copper now; it's not gold. But, okay, so this was what I started last night. If you caught um, Friday Night Live, I just, I'm bored with this piece. I feel like it needs something else. So I wanted to jazz it up a little bit. I'm not even sure I'm gonna stick with this, but it's just paint. You get the opportunity to play with it, explore a little bit. What happens is this patina, like the gold, all of those little tiny particles get down in the grooves. And although you can't see from here, there's a lot of texture. I can see the turquoise coming through, this color that I pulled over here. Um, I could see some of the wood coming through and it's just kind of settling into itself. It's heavier in certain areas. Um, it's just, it's a really, really natural look if you just let the water go and leave it alone. See where I haven't picked up a brush. I have not picked up a brush since I applied the, the, the Golden Ticket Liquid Patina and I sprayed, okay? I'm just working the layers with this putty knife. Now once I get the paint finished the way I like it, I might go ahead and add something else. If I end up doing a transfer or some stamps from IOD, I might be able to do that as well. I don't want to get the paint finished the way I like it first. So I'm going to let that sit up a little bit longer. If you ever decide that it's too heavy or you don't like it, of course you can paint over it. Um, me, I'm more likely to grab my sanding sponge, my block, and just lightly go over it. No, I'm not going to cover the whole thing. Um, to lightly go over it and just kind of soften it. If you feel like you get too much. Right now it's heavier, it's darker, it's because it's wet. Mostly all you're going to see left is the shimmer. But I had not done a horizontal ombre in like several years. Um, so it was something that I was looking forward to doing. Another thing that I would be very, very tempted to do would be adding a little bit of yellow, which people are like, no, don't do that, that's crazy. Um, but there's definitely a way to make it look good, but it is a process. I'm going to send you some sleeve savers, right? Because I have on my brand new sweater. Here I am painting in it. What a goofy girl. Thank you, Marina. I don't even know what sleeve savers is, but that sounds like something. As long as it's fast and easy and I can slide it on quick, because the reason I don't change when I paint is because I come out here throughout the day several different times, and I'm not changing. Because when I'm changing, I am cutting into my paint time. And I don't like cutting into my paint time. it like this sending to the first of the year <laughs> awesome you're awesome okay I'm gonna lightly spritz I'm gonna let it soak it up for a minute Actually, I think I'll come over here and get started over here on this side too
running a little bit. Oh, God, I love the way that looks. And I know you can't see it, but I love the way that looks. This is one of those you'll have to just trust me, and when you see the photos, you'll get what I mean. on sale. I have about six different tutorials where I, the recorded classes start to finish and um, they're, most of them are three hours long. So you can watch a little bit at a time. It's your link to keep so you can watch as many times as you want. Um, but I do have those $30 off on my website. Okay, I'm going to wipe petty knife because I don't want to just be moving paint all around. Not after that look because then it starts to look muddled. I don't like muddling. I'm going to spray this. And let that golden ticket kind of soak up some of that moisture. I'll work back over here. So y'all said no flowers, so I didn't paint flowers yet. If I probably have to let this dry, make sure that's not what I want to do. I'll let that work for a little bit and come over here. Oh my gosh, I love this combination. is that you if you're wanting to work on a piece of furniture that you really just learn to treat it like a piece of artwork and a canvas because you really can't get it wrong you just keep working on it until you get it to where you like it I've always tried to get a piece to look like it has worn naturally I don't always get that right but that is my goal at least <laughs> thing is that you use quality products, quality paint, so right now I'm just, I'm lightly kind of letting my palette or my putty knife just kind of go over the wood. I'm really just encouraging it to drip and it's what's going to happen. It looks really dark right now, but when it dries, you'll only see the metallic paint, you won't see all of the dark drips and such. Okay, so we're going to let that go. We're going to come over here. You can't tell from there, but I really like, I swear I will not go cut paint on anything. Oh my God, I will. <laughs> I know, I should not be painting in this sweater. It was brand new, gift just today, came in the mail, and here I am painting in it. But I just, I hate to, because, you know, in a few minutes I'm going to want to have on regular clothes and I won't be painting. I guess it's laziness, but I hate to take time away from painting when take the time away. That's just, that's just the way it is. I don't want to go change. It's so far pretty good. I, don't, I do a pretty good job not getting on me. I'm loving the way this is looking. This, I'm not sold on it just yet. It's going to need a little more work. I don't want it to look pink. You know what I mean? So when it dries, I'll have to decide if I like it or not, because right now it looks pink and that's not the look I'm going for. But this, on the other hand, is looking fabulous.
you can change the colors a lot with waxes. If you're, if you're not familiar with waxes, we have um, a black, a brown, a clear, and a white. Um, you can put white over this to really soften it. But what happens is I can use multiple colors of wax and I end up, I've got, you know, three colors on here, but it will end up looking like I've got eight colors when I add waxes to it because you don't have to put, I don't have to put the brown in more than, I can put the brown just in one place. I can put the brown along the bottom, I can put clear over here, and it just really adds a lot of texture to the pieces that you're working on. And wax gives a very durable finish. So before I um, say goodbye, is there anybody that has any more questions about my um, Creative Connection or you were thinking about joining, you were thinking about um, signing up on Tuesday and if you have any questions please ask. If you are watching the replay feel free to message me or email me at Dion at theturquoiseiris.com be happy to answer your questions. Um, I'm at that point where I have to kind of step away. A few options that I do have would be adding a, um, a transfer or a stamp. Um, some of the transfers that I have are from IOD. This is the French script. I could apply part of the French script on here. I know I've done a wardrobe before where I cut it up into about eight different sections and I put it all over the armoire in different areas. I'm not sure this piece specifically ha, looks very French, so I don't think that's the route to go. Um, I have bird stamps. I have um, bees, um, but I was kind of thinking along the um, kind of along the line of the painting that I just did where I had bohemian blue at the top with the copper and the gold I end up taking on kind of a sunrise look so I had kind of a beach scene but then I also in the corner of the painting I started flinging paint everywhere and it ended up looking like uh, sprays like around the pond like just wildflowers almost growing around the pond is kind of what it looks like so I'm, I'm debating on that but it's at that point where it's full of water and I need to walk away from it and just kind of see how it's going to um, gonna kind of dry. So let me. It's so funny. How big is the French grip? Um, Annette, this one is 24 by 33. Mm -hmm. 24 by 33. And I actually have these on my website now. Um, so I have like seven or eight different items of IOD <clears throat> on my website at theturquoiseiris.com. So I have some transfers and some stamps available if anybody's interested in that. Um, but yeah, they have so many different ones. I've got, um, yeah, let me show you a couple things. Is that Heather Brownell? Hi, Heather Brownell. Um, these birds. So many options with the IOD. Um, guys, if you are into florals, especially, let's just say you don't hand paint them, but you want to um, put a stamp on them. This is the rose toile. Something like this might look really pretty on it. Um, you just roll the paint onto the stamp and then just boop, stamp it. And these last forever. They're just rubber stamps. Um, you do need to pick yours up. Melissa, I forgot what you wanted. What did you want, Melissa? I need to set it aside for you with your name on it. I forgot what you asked me for. Um, Annette, yeah, you can just order it on online. You can go to my website or you can message me and I can send you an invoice. That works too. Um, oh, I missed you too, Heather. Thank you, dear. Thank you. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you guys. Um, what's that smell? It smells like some burning. All right, well, on that note, I'm going to have to let this dry. Um, so, I don't know, maybe we'll use this twall. That kind of, kind of sounds fun. Maybe we'll do that. Um, so, come back tomorrow. I'll be here for day 89 of my 90-day Facebook Live challenge. You guys have an awesome afternoon. Um, yeah, let's go, Boomer. Come on sooner. Boomer! All right, you guys. You guys be awesome.